How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to answer a health question. I recently stumbled across an article out of the New York Times which talks about different types of exercise and their effects on long-term brain health. So whether you are a bodybuilder, crossfitter, powerlifter, long distance runner, or just somebody that likes to lift heavy things every week, which type of exercise is going to have the greatest long-term health benefits to your brain? I am going to answer this question based on what science has shown. If you are interested to see where I pull my information from, feel free to check out the description below. And without further delay, let's get started. So how can we objectively determine which type of exercise is best for your brain? Previous research has used adult hippocampal neurogenesis as a way to quantify brain health. What the heck is that? AHN is a process in which cells develop in your brain and are then transferred to your hippocampus, which is the central processing network for emotion, memory, and your autonomic nervous system. Studies in rodents advocate that AHN is crucial for many adaptive behaviors, such as learning, pattern recognition, and response to stress. And it has already been shown that steady state aerobic exercise, such as treadmill running, elicits a greater AHN response than doing nothing. So what type of AHN response do you get when you add the effects of resistance training and high intensity interval training. The study mentioned in this article did just that in rats. So which type of exercise proved to be victorious? Let's take a closer look. Not only did treadmill running show the greatest increase in AHN, but it was the only type of exercise to show statistically significant improvements as well. High intensity interval training showed a small increase in AHN, but it was much smaller than they initially hypothesized and not large enough to be considered statistically significant. And to everybody's surprise, the resistance training group showed little to no improvements in AHN. It was pretty much on par with the sedentary control group. But is it really fair to say that resistance training does not improve brain health? Previous research studying resistance training has revealed many health benefits, such as a reduction in fatigue, anxiety and depression, and improvements in cognitive abilities and self-esteem. If you ask me, that constitutes an improvement in brain function. Any type of safe and responsible exercise is going to improve your brain function. So what type of exercise is best for your brain? If you go off the results from the study I just talked about, voluntary long distance running is the winner. But that does not mean resistance and high intensity interval training are not going to have their own effect on improving your brain health. What do you guys think? Is running the best way to strengthen brain function? Let me know in the comments below or on Facebook or Twitter. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe. In any case, thank you all so much for watching, and stay strong. Thank you.